Hi guys, welcome to my channel Sivodinch TS. In this video, today I will go in more detail in the Civil 3D. By starting the explanation of user interface, I will give my introduction once again. I am Yasir Zaman. I am a civil engineer. This is my channel Civil Inch TS. And this is my Facebook page. I have created a group also. I will give the link in the description down below of Facebook group. And I have mentioned my email. If you have any question, send me email. I will try to answer it as soon as possible. So today video will be the series of uh, Civil 3D from 2016 to advanced version. Okay. In this video, I will explain today the user interface of the Civil 3D in detail. So these are the topics for today in the Civil 3D user interface. So we have here application button, quick access toolbar, title bar workspace, ribbon, info center, tool space, properties pane, drawing area, view cube, transparent command, layout bar, recent command, status bar, customization bar, panorama, command bar. Okay, you guys will understand these more better to see the next chart. Next, how the user interface is look like. Once we open the civil 3D, we can see the interface like this. First of all, the application button. In the application button, we can create a new we can open the existing drawing, save, save as, okay, and other, okay. Next, this bar, quick access toolbar. We are calling this area quick access toolbar. We can open from here quickly and we can save a file from here quickly, okay. The next is workspace. We can set through workspace the user interface components such as a ribbon tab and panels, toolbars, plates, and menu bars. This one is the title bar of the Civil 3D. So next, this is the ribbon bar. This is very important also because mostly we are working from command bar and ribbon bar. The next is view cube. It is a navigation tool. With the view cube, we can switch between the standard and isometric view. This is our drawing area. We are creating the drawing here. Okay. Next, this is the recent commands when we click here we can see the recent commands which we applied in the civil 3d okay this one is layout bar status bar command bar we are giving the command to the civil 3d okay this one is panorama tool space property span inquiry tool customization bar transparent command okay so these are the main points from where we are working in the Civil 3D. Okay, next. Now I have to open Civil 3D. This is the Civil 3D user interface. If you want to save a new file or open a new file from application button. So what we have to do, open it, new. Okay, open it, save. Okay application button is this one if the same functions I need I want to do it quickly so this is the quick access toolbar save okay open it okay here in the civil theory 2020 by default fourth workspace are saved this workspace displays user interface components related to the civil engineering design and survey features available in Autodesk Civil 3D. The second one is drafting and annotation. This workspace displays user interface components related to AutoCAD drafting and annotation features available in Autodesk Civil 3D. The third one is 3D modeling. This workspace displays user interface components related to AutoCAD 3D modeling features available in Autodesk Civil 3D. And the last one, planning and analysis. This workspace displays user interface components related to AutoCAD map 3D features available in the Civil 3D. From here we can change the Civil 3D to drafting and annotation. Okay. Or if you are working in the 3D model we can change it here. So the 3D function will be appear. Okay. And if you are going for planning and analysis, once we click here, so the planning and analysis tool will be appear. Okay. Let me go back to the Civil 3D. 
The next is most recent command bar. Once we click here, we will see the last 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the most recent commands. Okay. And from here we can apply again. Okay. Now I click new, escape. Once I click again here, my recent command is new. Okay. If I want, this command should be most recent command. I have to click here. Cancel it. Once we open it again, you guys can see the open is most recent command. Okay. That's it. The next is title bar. So this one is the title bar. Autodesk Civil 3D 2020. And this one is the drawing name and the drawing extension. This one is info center. If you want to go to the Autodesk App Store, we have to click it here. So the Autodesk App Store will be open. If we need help, from here we can get help also. Okay. And if you want to connect with the community, we can use this option. So the next is the ribbon bar. This one is the ribbon bar. Okay. The ribbon bar is primary user interface for accessing commands and features. Commands available from the ribbon are organized into tabs. So these are the tabs of the ribbon bar. If you are working in the alignment, we can work from here. If you are working in the profile, we are working from here. Okay. This one is insert interface. Okay. The annotation work. Okay. We are doing from here. The modify analysis and etc. Okay. These are the tabs which is available and these are sets already. Okay. And it is very important because mostly we are working from here and the command bar and tool space also. Okay. So the next is command line. The command line is like a combined control panel and index of all AutoCAD commands you run and have run on your drawing. When you type a command, you are using command line. From here we can give the command to the civil 3D. For example, if I want to create a polyline, the polyline command is PL, enter, OK, escape. And if I want to erase this line, select E, enter. So we can give any kind of command from the command bar to the civil 3D. OK. So the next is layout. OK. This is the layout bar from here. We can create the layout sheets of the drawing for plotting. OK. This one is a model. We are creating the drawing here. OK. But once we want to make a print for it, we have to create this layout for it. OK. We can add more layout from here also. Whatever the number layout we have required, we can add it more. OK. The next is status bar. We are calling to this area status bar. Okay. The next is view cube. Okay. From here we can change standard view to the isometric view and the isometric view to the standard view. Okay. See like this. We can change it from here also. If we need right side, corner, back side, top, okay, like this, okay. So the next is customization bar. To this area we are calling the customization bar. From the customization bar we can on off the ortho mode, okay. We can on off the snap mode, okay. We can on and off the aw snap, okay. From here we can change the scale of the drawing and from here we can customize it also. Whatever we have required we can add it here. So it is very useful bar for quick action. The next is transparent command. Okay. The transparent command is a command which we can apply within a command. Okay. So how it is working? For example, the first one is the angle and distance. Okay. So, for example, I am giving a command polyline. Okay. Specify the starting point. From here, if you guys watch, from here it is asking from me 
the next point or if you want to convert this polyline to arc half width length undo or width okay but for me this command i don't want i want to give the angle to this line okay so i have to give the transparent command because in this tools we don't have angle okay so for example i want to give to this polyline angle i have to click here you guys can see i can give the angle to the polyline now inside in the transparent command i have this one counter clockwise okay so now it is clockwise okay now once i click here it is counter clockwise okay for example i have to give the angle 125 enter okay so this angle is fixed now it is asking from me the distance for example i am giving the distance 2 meter enter so especially this command we are using for the traversing mostly okay so now i want to come out from the transparent command press escape you guys can see come out from the transparent command so these all are transparent commands okay i will explain all these commands in the future videos so the next is tool space the tool space window is a integral component in the user interface for accessing command styles and data use it to access the prospector setting survey and toolbox tab right click each collection or items on these tabs to access commands the tool space here we have three tabs one is prospector the second one is setting the third one is survey our mainly work we are doing here the points related work we are doing in the points okay after the points we are creating the groups of the points okay as per our survey in the surface the surface related work we are doing here okay and the alignment related work we are doing here the next feature line site catchment pipe network etc okay and for the setting of these we are using setting okay in the setting tab we have journal points surface plot etc okay if i want to change the settings of the points from here i can change the point style and the label style okay and multiple more option here we have in the future videos i will explain all these settings also okay in survey we are doing the survey project related work here next is inquiry tool for example i have one point here select the point inquiry tool from here we can do the inquiry for point surface alignment profile view etc okay close it the next is panorama for example click here edit point list this one is panorama window okay from here we can see the northing easting okay if we have the elevation we can check we can change the number from here we can change the coordinates from here okay for example i want to change the number to and we can change the coordinate for example i want to change the coordinate here easting okay zero so we can change the coordinate here okay i think it is enough for today if you guys have any question you can send me the email or you can ask me the question in the facebook group i will try to give answer as soon as possible Hopefully this video will be helpful for you. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.